In this video we're going to take a look at the tabs that you will find under the top concepts and concepts because they are the same for both of those. So we're in our geographical thesaurus and what you see here the terms in the darker bluish green are top concepts and the terms that are in the sort of lighter bluish green are just regular old concepts, narrower concepts. And you can see if we select one of them that these are the tabs that you'll find. So you've got SCOS, metadata, documents, the tag cloud, linked data, triples, and visualization. And these are the exact same tabs that you would find under education or any of these other narrower concepts. So basically under the SCOS tab you have the information about your term in terms of what it's called, the types of relationships that you find uh, associated with that term, definitions, scope notes. So we'll take a look at all of those. You'll notice in this case that institutions is a top concept and because it's a top concept it doesn't have any broader concepts and so if you were to add a link here to um, something one of these other ones I guess it would put it underneath it and it would no longer be a top concept. But let's take a look at um, some of the other concepts because they've got a little bit more information under these different um, boxes. Okay, here we are under the term districts and you can see that we've got the exact same tabs up here at the top and districts is uh, underneath settlements. We have settlements as a broader concept and underneath districts you've got all of these narrower concepts, Charlottenburg, uh, for well, I can't pronounce these, but anyway, districts that you would find in Berlin. These are all districts of Berlin. This is our preferred label. Um, it's uh, Districts can also be called boroughs. If you wanted to edit this and later on say you decide that boroughs should be the preferred term, you can click on the little edit button there and, and you can change that and that would be fine. So, But we're not going to do that. You can also see here we've got alternative labels, so we have boroughs as an alternative label to districts, and again you can add other alternative labels here by pressing on one of the little plus buttons, or with the little pencil thing you could edit this button. And you can also choose the language that you would have the alternative labels in, so down here under this plus you could put an alternative label in German, for example. Okay, and then here we've got the hidden labels and the hidden label is kind of like an alternative label um, except that it's just that its function is just behind the scenes to serve um, to associate uh, a document with a term but when it's not actually the correct term so most commonly something like misspellings so in this case um, imagine somebody is doing a free text search and they type in um, borough spelled like this, B-U-R-O-U-G-H-S, and that's not really the way you spell this term for an administrative district. Still, even though they've made this mistake, you want them to be, it's a common mistake, so you want them to be able to retrieve the document anyway. So you would have this as a hidden label that no one would actually see, but still, um, if somebody made this mistake, the document would get retrieved. And here you could add scope notes and also definitions. So in this case for districts we have an administrative division. Um, under here you can link to related concepts. So you can link to other um, concepts that you've got in your thesaurus that are related. And I don't have any under this one, but I do have one under um, sites. So I'll, we'll go ahead and look at that. So now I've got sites selected and you can see that as a related concept I've got national parks. Um, which is up here in an Arthosaurus. And so again, you click on the link button and you can just start typing in the name of anything you wanted to relate it to. We're not going to do this, but you would just start typing and wait for the autofill and then you would click on it and it would associate it. Okay, now we are under the metadata tab and under the metadata tab you have metadata and you have notes and I've chosen uh, Berlin sites because I know that I've made some notes on that one so that will help us look at that. So basically under the metadata you have the basic information about the author, uh, who, uh, when the concept was created, the last change that was made to the concept, who made the last change, uh, what version um, it is, and then these are other 
linked data sources that might be connected to the the Jesse's DC terms and FOF, but um, I'm still figuring out how this part of it works. So I don't have too much to say about that yet. Okay, and now we're under the notes tab and the, here you would see a list of all um, any kind of note that has been added uh, to a particular concept. In this case, we only have a change note. Uh, and you could look on you look under here and you could select. So we only have a change note, so that's our only option at this point. But other uh, options for notes are editorial notes and history notes. And so if you only wanted to see change notes, you would select that. And if there were other types available, you would select those ones too. Or uh, you could also select who you wanted to see whose notes you wanted to see. And in this case, we've only, even though it's me, it's got Mike's name there. You could also select a date range of when you wanted to see dates from. So dates from one date to another date. This note here I made uh, to say that there was a concept merger, that we had a uh, concept formerly called tourist attractions, and that was merged with Berlin sites because they were all essentially in Berlin. Under the note tab is also where you can add a new note. So you would click this button and you can see here that you've got the options to make a change note, an editorial note, or a history note. And then, but we won't do that now. Okay, now we are under the documents tab and the only thing you find under the documents tab is a list of all the documents um, in the, that have been uploaded to your project that contain the word. Uh, of your con concept, although you'll notice that this is including all the documents that say Berlin and not just Berlin sites, so it's taking um, just a part of the concept and searching for that. You can also have a tag cloud, so let's pick a different term for our tag cloud. So we've got uh, Charlottenburg and this just gives you a sense of how common your term is in relation to other terms that you've got sorry, concepts, I should be using the word concepts, concepts that you've got in your thesaurus. So now let's take a look at linked data. So if you want to link to other information out there in the big data world, this is where you would do it. So this is uh, one of our sources of information that we've got. You can add other sources for linked data, but we've got uh, DBpedia linked to this project right now. And so if you wanted to find um, sources for this concept, you would click link, de link to DBpedia and you would choose um, sources that you want to link to here. So let's say exact match, save and close. And now that source is linked. And then if you wanted to copy information from this link, you would um, go to this link, but we'll do all of that in another video. Okay, and here we are under triples, and we haven't really got any complete triples because you see we've got some subjects and objects. Uh, we haven't really linked data uh, outside of this project, and also, to be honest, I still don't quite understand how all of this part works about linking data, but that's where you would find it. And so finally, we're going to look at visualization, which is just sort of, um, I don't know, what do you call one of those ontology maps? So we've got Charlottenburg um, selected and it shows you that it's a narrower term of districts and then you could click on districts and it'll expand. That's kind of cool. And show you all the other sort of narrower terms of districts. Uh, this project is pretty small, so um, that's what you would see. And I think that is about it for our top concept and concept tab tour.